Oh really? By the way, thanks for that. <laughs> Anytime. Oh good, that's back online. <laughs> I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves oh, gosh. lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Lasers, eh? Ooh. Yeah, so this, folks, is a um, an addition to Portal 2. Um, that was not in Portal 1. They took out the energy balls or whatever, but they sort of replaced them with these lasers, which I'm not the biggest fan of, because um, like, have, they have to do some really weird stuff with them later on, but uh, to my knowledge, they cannot kill you. Like, you'd really, you'd really have to try. Like, they'll uh, kind of damage you a bit, but... I'm pretty sure you are invincible. Ra ra ra. So lasers also follow the laws of, of uh, portals, right? And this is a laser laser receptacle. Meaning, if I go boom, that lifts. I want to try to make this without using a portal to get over here. Yep, we're good. We're good. Boom. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Keep that in mind. Psycho woman. Maybe, hmm, maybe we'll learn a lot doing these tests. Maybe, maybe we will enter a self-discovery that we will thank her for. All you. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be Boom. one in the corner. Some sort of redirection cube, eh? Jump, jump. Can we not just walk? Okay, so we cannot walk past this. What we, what we could do is just portal there, portal there. Ha! Or we could play some jump laser. Whoosh. Whoosh. Skip. Skip. Skip to my loo. Skip. Skip. Skip to my loo. Ow. That panel there is having some troubles. Ooh. That's one of the things that we saw earlier. <gasps> Wheatley! So what this does, folks, is it is a laser redirection tool, which would allow us to go like that. So we need a something weighted to lift down on the button. The good thing about this this redirection cube is also weighted. So we can go whoosh. Well done. You there. Here come the test results. You are a Duh. horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. I'm so sorry, Miss Glad. Your name's not Mados, it's GLaDOS, so I suggest that you act your name. And maybe, if you if you're cool enough, I'll even Don't start calling you Rados. You. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh what? Harsh. If she uh. If she becomes a Transylvanian dude, I might start calling her Vlados. So what do we have here? Did I get through there by getting that laser there and that one there. So we have So we have this redirection here. What we'll do is Goodbye. We'll portal that laser together. 
Ugh. And redirect that one. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Huh. You, you're a smooth talker. When, uh, when she's upset, I'll call her Sados. Trying to think of the, the most obscure things that rhyme with ad. One moment. Hmm. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. She becomes a uh, suicide bomber. Start calling her Jihados. That's bad. I apologize. Enough of that. So this laser makes this platform move. Good to keep in mind. Oh, we got you there. Uh oh, a little bit of the jump rope, actually. The uh, the cubes, the normal cubes, can block out the laser. That's that's very useful. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Look at all this junk that has fallen down there. Gotta sort your elevator out, woman. It's not my job. Boom, 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 boom. What do we have here? Q. Oh! We, we are in, going to be introduced to something that is uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Thank you for pushing that garbage this out of the way. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. See this, folks? This is the this is the faith plate, which I will most most likely end up be calling that jump square pad thing. This is a remarkable device. When when uh, it's like a mouse trap. When aggravated, boom. These blue circles here indicate where you will land. Not sure what that did. Oh, send the cube over. Oh, it's got a cube bouncing. Stop looking at me, dude. Ah. So let's go get that cube. Oh, got to time it right. We have to go back down. And gotcha. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide huh. out of the room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Pretty sure that that'll kill us eventually. That's not good. <gasps> oh man, some good Pepsi. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial face plates. Hmm. Well, have fun see, see what's on the uh, the board here. Anything? I have to go to the wing nope. that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. There may there may have been something here, but uh, I, I might have actually like exited it by uh, walking too far. Get out of my way, dude! So I want. I'm not actually sure what makes these advanced. 
Let's see. Oh gosh. Whoosh. Whoosh. Uh oh. Ha! That was some skill portal right there. Quick, uh, quick reflexes. We need that depressed. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being Ooh. useless. That's something new. Avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Oh. Should I? Oh, cube. Nice. Oh, get, don't do not fall. These spheres, I'm pretty sure, they can uh, hold down. Oh God. Oh, you're gone. They can hold down um, normal like um, buttons or whatever, but there's also. Uh, plates that'll actually be specifically made just for for the uh, the spheres so that that will come in handy oh god I may have just screwed myself or maybe not make the jump uh. This room here. When I was talking about I'll let her finish. Standing around being useless. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. Duh. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Alrighty. That room there has like kind of inspired a lot of uh in the custom maps or whatever, there's um I guess what you what you would call a roller coaster maps, where uh, it's like they have people have face plates everywhere, basically, and uh, it's kind of about like taking them on for a journey. Guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises. I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. You, you rock on, portal dude. The other two big um, things in the uh, the custom maps that have got like oh, come back to me. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and grab another big one. meanie. Land on me, hit me. Oh. Oh no, I fizzled that one too. You're being a bit harsh, anyway, Glados. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. So, when the laser is not pressed, this goes down. When, when it is pressed, it goes up. And as I was saying, before being interrupted by GLaDOS, the big things for the for the um, custom maps or whatever, aside from like just normal test chambers, are the roller coaster maps like I was talking about. Um, Portal One recreations of like recreations of Portal One levels, and also like some. Uh, self-solving puzzles that are like kind of like Rube Goldberg machines where it's like you push a button then like a bunch of stuff will happen and like a, a, a cube will like fling out and like hit another cube into a ball that'll like go crazy I'll probably show off a couple of the uh, the maps or whatever to uh, let you guys know what I'm talking about because there's some cool stuff what we'll do is that we need that we need that cube Jump down. Whoosh. So now, make a bit of a higher jump. And success. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take oh gosh. anything with you. Sean on the right looks a bit um, cross-eyed almost. 
How you doing, baby? Wah, rah. Back to the elevator. Or should I say, as Stephen Merchant would say, the lift, eh? <laughs> Whoosh.